Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What do you think of the new hair? I got it done last week and you might see some videos of me as a blonde and some as a brunette because I pre-film. So this may not be the most recent video, but I did get my hair done at the very end of March. It was my first salon experience, very exciting. So anyway, today we're gonna be trying a new mascara from L'Oreal. It's been a while since L'Oreal sent me PR and I just ended up back on their PR list, which I'm very excited about. So today we have the Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. I love trying new mascaras, especially drugstore mascaras. So if you are also curious to see what this does for the lashes, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. It says up to seven times fuller lashes, volume and care with a supple brush, clean from parabens and mineral oils, allergy tested. Our first balm in mascara with only essential ingredients for fuller, silkier, healthier looking lashes, iconic volume, ultimate care, no compromise. Up to seven times fuller lashes, lashes left instantly volumized and intensely black. Wraps lashes in care for healthy looking lashes, clean from parabens and mineral oils, 99% natural ingredients. Removes easily with soap and water. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be like a nourishing mascara, similar to like the Grande Lash Mascara, I believe. Usually products with like oils in them or like balm, I feel like are gonna transfer because they're emollient, but we will give it a shot. Just ignore this green spot. I have no idea what it is. Makeup of some sort. All right, this is what the package looks like. It does look like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a lip gloss tube. Okay, inside the wand looks like this. Let's check it out. One coat gives me very, very, very thin, spindly lashes. I feel like this is missing the stopper. Like, I feel like it comes out way too easily. I don't know, I hear the um, vacuum, but I feel like I'm getting a lot on my brush. Like the um, stopper that's supposed to take off the excess is not necessarily working. It's getting the lashes on the inner part of my eye really, really well. That's looking better. Did a nice job for the lower lashes. That's one coat on the bottom and two on top. Okay, this mascara is giving me like thin spindly lashes but they look nice. They look like demi wispies, but I like my lashes to look a little bit thicker than this. So they look nice, but it may not be my preferred look. So I'm gonna try the other eye real quick. Okay, so this is like three layers on the top and two on the bottom. I like how my lashes are like looking lifted and slightly curled. I feel like it's quite a similar effect to the MAC Stack Mascara, but the MAC Stack builds up a bit more, like so my lashes get thicker. With the L'Oreal Noir Balm, I feel like it's keeping them nice and thin. It's not really building up, so they still look like nice, thin, natural-ish looking lashes. You can definitely tell I have something on my lashes. I mean, my lashes are blonde to begin with, but I like the way it looks. I'm just curious to see if it's going to like smudge to the under eyes throughout the day just because it is a balm. So stay tuned, but this is what it looks like right now. I do think it looks pretty. I do have to do a little bit of lid clean up, but not too bad. So, so far I'm liking it. Stay tuned to find out how it does throughout the day. 
So I've worn this mascara a couple of times and I had really inconsistent results. One eye did smudge underneath my lower lash line. The other one didn't. So I'm wondering if it was a matter of not powdering well under the one eye and powdering well under the other. So I don't think that you're gonna normally have smudges and flaking as long as you're powdering your under eyes. So I think you'll be fine. Um, I'll update you guys in Instagram if that is not the case, but that's where I stand right now. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me test out the new L'Oreal mascara. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.